Hello, my name is Star. I'm your friendly neighborhood go-go dancer. And I am back from kind of taking a bit of a break. I didn't really post a whole lot after my last video just because obviously nothing feels appropriate to say right now other than just giving support to the Black Lives community. It seems more important to amplify those voices. And yet I am here talking out of my ass. Uh, life is stressful. Makeup is a nice little like outlet to kind of think about something else for a little while and maybe um, I can help you guys think about something else as well. Let's do this. Today I was supposed to work, I've probably mentioned it before but maybe not, but I work outside and today we had horrible storms and lightning which is not safe to be out in. Still came in, but basically canceled after working for like a couple of hours just because it wasn't gonna be a good time for anybody. I did some bleach tie-dye and they look really cool. They're drying right now. I'm going to use this foundation, the Clinique whatever the hell. This is the foundation that I use when it's summertime and I'm a little bit darker than I am the rest of the year. This is what I use for the winter months. This is what I use for the summer months. How is everybody else's summer going? Let me know in the comments below. So, as we all know, it is Pride Month this month. It is getting towards the end of Pride Month. And honestly, I'm probably gonna post this after Pride Month is over because I'm currently recording this on the 29th of June. And there's no way that I can put this out in one day. I think that's how many days are in June, but that doesn't mean that it's any less important. And honestly, this is kind of possibly the most important pride in history, although maybe next to Stonewall, but that doesn't technically count as pride because it was kind of just like the birthplace of pride. Guess who just squirted out too much foundation on her face? And if you're someone who disagrees with Pride Month, maybe don't watch me. Because I'm not going to stand for that. I think Pride is a great thing. I think right now Pride is actually getting things done that need to get done. These things should have gotten done a long time ago. Regardless, I'm glad they are happening now still have a lot to do. By the way, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer like every other beauty guru uses these. Uh, oh, don't you hate when you start putting on makeup and then it just starts to itch underneath the makeup? I have not put makeup on my face for a while because I've had zero reason to. I'm just gonna leave that for a minute to kind of like let it dry and set and then I'm gonna really blend it out because this looks dumb. I'm going in with my contour that I got forever ago. Going in with the darkest shade. Like anybody really cares. Honestly, like who is really watching this? I'm a pretty small YouTuber. So I have no idea who watches my videos except for like the three friends that I have that I said, hey, please watch this. Honestly, it really confuses me as to like the people who are not those three friends. Like how the hell did you end up here? Let me know in the comments below. How did you end up on my channel? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you ended up here. This whole week and honestly like the past couple days as well, it's been like 90 degrees and I've been wanting to go for a run around the lake but it's too wickedly hot for me to do that. And you're probably wondering, why are you going for a run? Why would you, <laughs> why would you like do something as horrible as running? And honestly, I understand where you're coming from. I don't know why I do it. Actually, I do know why I do it. I have horrible insomnia and if I don't work out my, my body to the point of complete exhaustion, I can't go to sleep at night. And I personally would like to go to sleep at night because sleeping at night means that I can function the next day. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way powder in translucent. Oh, I don't know where my sponge is for this. Honestly, it's probably a good thing that I don't know where that sponge is because I've been using the same sponge for God knows how long. I know, I know what I'm doing. It's the how that I don't know. But you're gonna watch me make it up as I go. I mean, 
You're gonna watch me totally know what I'm doing because I planned everything out. <laughs> oh god. It is in my nose. Oh no. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's fine. Ah, is it in my eye? Jesus. I'm going in with this NYX eyeshadow base. It's just the matte white. My skin is not an alabaster white. I got some, some bronzy tones in there. And when I put on makeup, some of those bright colors kind of just turn into gray and tan and brown because much like paints, if you try and put paint on a non-white canvas, it doesn't quite show up as the original color. So I make a white canvas so that it shows up a little bit better. Coffee that has been sitting for hours. I think for this whole look, I'm pretty much only gonna be using the Sephora Pro palette. I'm gonna start light and work my way to the darker colors. And I'm going straight up and down. This is not a normal way to do makeup, but as you can probably tell from the title, I'm not exactly doing normal makeup. I'll go back in on that in a minute. I'm gonna go in with this hot pink color. And I'm just gonna go around that white. I am changing the shape, but I think I'm gonna more make like a slightly misshapen oval. I think I'm gonna go over with this shade of pink to kind of lighten it up a lot. We're gonna go in with this color. No, this color. I'm gonna use this as the base first because I know how to plan things. I have pretty minimal real estate space on my eyes. So I don't think I'm gonna go all the way around. Or maybe I will. Nope, I will. With this color, I'm doing it. Going all the way around. Ah, uh, that might have been a mistake. Well, gotta make the mistake on the other side now. Okay, now it doesn't look blue, it looks purple. Cool. All right. Well, laid that down. We're gonna go on with this now. Yeah, that's the color I want. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way around with this color just going on either side. And I'm not really doing too much to like blend it out because again, this is not a normal makeup look. It's not like most makeup looks. She's different. She doesn't play by the rules. She has mental health problems. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's clinical depression. I can't take credit for that joke. God bless Trix Mattel and Katya. All right, remember when I said that I was gonna like make a more realistic eye shape with this. I think I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna go back with that pink. I'm making sure that I'm using different brushes for each of the different colors, because these colors need to be not all that blended together. I want them to be very starkly different from each other. I don't know who is going to like redo this look, but here I am providing an instructional tutorial on it. Although honestly, I don't even know if this is really a tutorial. I'm kind of just very poorly saying what I'm doing as I'm doing it and forgetting to provide instruction as I'm doing it. And also changing it up every two seconds. I'm gonna use more of that shadow base in the middle. It's times like these that I really wish I had like a stark white glitter, but I don't. For those of you recreating this at home, use a white glitter. Again, this is a very professional tutorial. And those of you at home who have better brushes and better skills, uh, make your eyes match. <laughs> <laughs> tell because it's coated in all the other colors around it. I, it might look really cool. If I put it over, I can't see it. Okay, I don't think this is working. But still, I gotta do it on the other side. I don't think it did anything. Let's put glitter on the other sections. I'm gonna take this little thing that I've got. Huh? Ah. 
Remember that thing that I said about not using the same brush? I'm gonna use the same brush. All right, I'm gonna brush away this fake. All right, doing the same thing as we did before. We're gonna apply like a base of some sort. Like, oh, nope, I did not apply that as the base it was originally. Oh God, okay. I'm gonna dip into that, the actual thing that I used as a base. And I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing that I did on the top, except go way more heavy handed. But even though I'm going heavy handed, I still want, I still want to be precise with where I'm putting the color so it doesn't get too muddied up. I'm gonna try using this cream palette. Yeah, that's maybe giving me the effect that I want. Okay, I think I'm gonna use um, this one, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna use this one. I am back, and I just had a miraculous idea. I'm not gonna use shadows, I'm gonna use lipsticks. Vote now in the comments below, and I will choose which one of these colors. Do you want the left one, or the one that looks like it's expired? I'm using this one. It's not liquid, but it is blue and it's gonna be more intense than like a pressed powder. It'll probably work. This may not be the best brush for it, but let's just go for it. Ooh, yes, that is what I want. All right, I think I'm now gonna add glitter to the other parts. I don't think the white, I don't really have a glitter for the white one, so I'm just gonna add the pink glitter. Ooh, that is intense glitter. I'm gonna stick some liner on. Are they even? Comment below. Are, is my eyeliner even? The answer is no. It never is. So I use cheap eye- Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, that's never happened before. That's cool. We got a new liner. Because for these, like, looks, I don't really like using a expensive liner and wasting it on something that's just going to, like, Something that like I can't wear out in public. I guess I could put highlight on this. All right, for anybody who's wondering, I just put on my lips um, the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in Mystical. This is what I used on the top. I lined it with a Kylie Jenner lip pencil. This one is in Posey K and I use as a lipstick, I use this by MDM Flow. It's in shade Retro. And I'm gonna throw on some lashes right now. All right, here is the final look. Obviously, this is in solidarity with the trans community in honor of Pride Month. Even though it is the very end of Pride Month right now, I really still wanted to so show my support for the queer community in general, but specifically extend support to the trans people of color. If you are celebrating Pride and you are not including trans people of color, that is a gross limitation of the queer community as a whole and the celebration of Pride. Events like Stonewall were initiated by people of color and trans people. For this year's Pride, I think it's really important to recognize how trans people of color have been limited and um, overlooked throughout the years. And it is important to recognize that trans people of color are constantly treated unfairly, especially unfairly, um, in the world in general, but also within the queer community, and they need to be recognized. They need to have equal rights in this world. I will include links to donate to things like the Okra Project, which actively supports uh, trans black lives, as well as the Trevor Project. Um, but I just want to close out this video by simply stating trans rights are human rights. Happy Pride. I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, however, you are celebrating Pride this year. And I will see you next time. Bye.